It's tulip time. Join me as we do a quick look at how they did this year. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Horticulture Geek. I'm Ray, and thank you so much for joining me today here on the channel. And that's right, as I just said, it is tulip time here at the Horticulture Geek Garden. And I wanted to give you guys an update on how our 600 tulips that we planted in the front yard this year are doing. Now, um, keep in mind that I do live on a busy street. There's a lot of traffic noise, so I probably will edit out a lot of the sound and just put some music or something over it. But I've been taking some photographs and I've been taking some videos um, for the past couple of weeks in the progression of the tulips. And so I'm going to just play those for you now and then come back at the end and show. we'll talk about how it's doing. So here we go.
All right, guys, so this was an incredibly short video, but I wanted to focus on the tulips and how they are doing for us here. Um, and like I said, the front yard is so noisy that I'm gonna wrap this video up back here in the back garden for you. And we can sneak in our peach tree. Um, the peach tree is bloomed out. We just trimmed this in a video the other day and took care of it. And so it is looking fantastic, as you can see. Um, I do have some other tulips popping up throughout the garden back here and some lots of daffodils around the base of the magnolia we just planted and lots of things like that. It is just a really good time of year. I love this part of spring when the bulbs are coming up and the trees are starting to flush out with new growth. So I wanted to just give you guys this quick update today. So if you did not watch me plant those video, the plant those bulbs, the 600 tulips out front, I did that the week of Christmas in December. Um, I ordered them pre-chilled from Color Blends. I am in 7B8A, Central Arkansas. It gets way too hot here, and so I have to pre-chill my bulbs and order them pre-chilled. And when I planted them, I did the pit method. So I dug an open pit in all four locations, put in manure and compost and bulb fertilizer and gave those bulbs everything that I could give them to put on the beautiful show that you just saw. And those uh, tulip display has been going on for about two and a half, three weeks now. And I still probably have another week or so to go before the last of those, maybe even a week and a half, before the last of those tulips finally fade out. So all in all, I'm gonna get a solid five weeks of color out of those tulips, um, which to me is just phenomenal. It has been so beautiful in the front yard. Um, people have been commenting on them as they walk down the street and people we know that drive by our home. Um, everybody loves the tulip display every year. So to me, it is well worth the time and investment. It is a great deal of time and it is a good investment to do that every year, but you just can't beat the impact of a tulip display. So if you are considering it, just know that it is time and work to get them all planted, but the payoff is such a huge reward. So I highly encourage anyone to do a big tulip display if it's within your means and your budget. And now if you live in a cooler area, those tulips will probably come back for you year after year. Here in 7B, 8A, Tulips will come back, they don't really naturalize, and they never come back as strong or in a full force as they do when we plant them fresh each year. So here, even though they are considered a very temperamental perennial, we really treat them as annuals. So those 600 bulbs will be discarded this year, um, and then I'll plant fresh bulbs next year. Um, and that's how we do that here in the hot south. So I hope this video has inspired you um, or taught you a little something. If you've ever been intrigued and wanted to know how to get a beautiful tulip display at your home, go back and watch that planting video. And then now you have this video as well to show you that the work is gonna be worth the reward. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me that thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave those down below. But until next time, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.